Well, for Ripcaster, my name's John Nelson, and we're a hi-fi dealer based between Reading and Oxford in the UK. Today's video is all about the Lynn Climax Solo 800 amplifiers that were released recently. Behind me, I've got a typical system. Uh, we've got a pair of Lynn Climax Solo 800s. They're being driven by a Lynn Next Generation Network music player. We've also got a Lynn LP12 turntable and we're driving a pair of Audio Vector R8 speakers in a passive configuration. Let's have a quick look at this system before we have a, a closer look at the actual Climax Solo 800 amps. So before we dive into the details about the new Climax Solo 800s, in the words of uh, Talking Heads, uh, how did we get here? We all know that Lynn started in 1973 with their iconic LP12 turntable, but it was about a decade later when they actually started doing ampl amplifiers, and the first one they made was something called an LK2, and then quickly fo followed by this, an LK280. After the LK2 and the LK280, came the clout. I don't have one of those, but maybe I can put one here in uh, some jiggery put. Following that came the LK style amps. Things like the LK100, LK80, LK140. In late 99, Lim produced this, the forerunner of the 800. This is the Climax Solo 500, still a current product today. And the Solo was followed up with the Twin, same chassis or similar chassis, but with a stereo amplifier rather than a mono amplifier. And then in kind of mid 2000, 2005 onwards, they started producing the Chakra amplifiers. This one's in an accurate style case. These were typically two to four channel amplifiers um, used a lot in active type systems. And Fast forward, various updates to all those products over the years, but the first truly new product is the Climax Solo 800 that we're looking at today. I've just put one of the Climax Solo 800s on the table in front of me. Let's have a quick 360 and then we'll look at some of the details. Hopefully that wasn't too uh, dizzy for you. Uh, these are available in, in the black finish we have here or in silver. And they've used the same kind of design language as on the next generation Climax DSM. So we've got the round circular roundel, um, very nice detail um, on the front. Uh, this illuminates when the product's in use and it also goes through when the system's starting up. Uh, there's also some uh, startup sequences that are displayed on here. We've got this very nice uh, concentric circles milled into the front fascia and uh, that's reminiscent of uh, grooves on a, on a vinyl record. Main switch under here so you're not having to constantly reach around the back of the equipment if you need to turn things on or off so that's a nice nice feature. Um, 
And then if we look down the side, we've got this very nice sculpted heatsink. Uh, so it's a passive amplifier. There are no fans in this amplifier. So a lot of the design, the design work has gone into making this passively cooled. So there are no fans, completely silent. Uh, we, we've run this hard for a, a, you know many days now and we've never managed to get it beyond warm. We've got three silver feet on the on the base of the unit. You can probably just see one here, two at the rear and one at the front. Again, similar to uh, on the Climax DSM. We've just changed to a slightly different camera angle now so you can see the top of the unit. Uh, so you, again, you can see this nice wave on the heat sink here. And also around the edge here, there's actually a gap which acts as a chimney to allow heat to, to, to rise. You can also see the, the nice detail on the top with the LIN logo and the product name, Climax Solo 800. Image of the inside of the unit so you can actually see what is inside it. Just rotated it by 90 degrees just so we can look at the heat sink in the profile and you can see the, the, the silver feet at the bottom. So now we've got the, the, the rear panel of the Climax Solo 800 on display and we'll just go through all the information and connections which are on there. So I've obviously got the product name here, who made it, who we need to thank for making it and the serial number. We've got a, an earthing point here so you can earth your devices together. This is the mains input, it's using a C19 uh, connector. Uh, the power supply is universal, so it'll work on all voltages and uh, frequencies, 110, 60 hertz to 240, 50 hertz, for example. We've got connections here, and these can be the banana plugs or indeed spade, spade connectors, so those are, uh, you can screw clamp those. And over here, we've got our analog inputs, uh, so we've got both... Um, unbalanced RCA inputs and balanced XLR inputs. You've also got outputs, so you can go for in to out or in to out. Uh, and we can select which of these set of inputs we want to use using this switch at the top here. So we've got unbalanced or balanced um, selection there. There's a service port here, which allows, there is firmware in this product. Uh, if that was ever needed to be updated, we'd Take that off. Um, a trigger input and output here. So if you're using this product with non-lin equipment, uh, you can get it to turn on and off using conventional uh, standard 12 volt triggers. Uh, there's another little switch, three setting switch here, which we can use to adjust the brightness of the uh, roundel on the front. Um, and we'll, we'll show that shortly. Okay, so uh, next we'll just connect up the cable. So we put our mains using our C19 connector. That's our mains done. We'll put our analog input, we're gonna use XLR into there. And we'll connect our speaker cables into the back of the amp. It's connected to the back of it. So if we switch it on, we can just show you the, the startup sequence. So Switch it on at the front. You can just hear a slight click inside. The logo lights up and it's a sort of boop sequence. And if I move the switch on the rear, you can see how this alters the brightness of the front roundel. That's on its lowest setting. Uh, which actually under the cameras looks brighter than it does in the actual room, I have to say. The engineers at Lynn focused on creating an amp that was capable of driving difficult speaker loads with consistency and accuracy. The Climax Solo 800 is a Class A-B amplifier with some novel and original technologies which combine to produce very low distortion and a superb signal to noise ratio, all with incredible efficiency. Typical Class AB amplifiers have a sweet spot bias current. This is set once at the point of manufacture. 
However, due to variations in transistors and changing temperatures during the use, the bias current drifts over the lifespan of the amplifier. Lin has developed adaptive bias control. The current supplied to the transistors is monitored in real time. Using FPGA digital control loops, the Solo 800 ensures that optimum bias is always applied at any temperature, regardless of volume or dynamic changes, and throughout the lifespan of the amplifier. The Solo 800 incorporates eight pairs of transistors for upper and lower devices, with their combined total producing the purest ultra-linear signal for the loudspeakers. By employing eight pairs of transistors, their combined power handling efficiency is massively increased. It reduces how hot they get as they all share the load equally. The Solo 800 features a 2 kilowatt utopic power supply. This is cleaner and more efficient and remains whisper quiet over the full range of operating conditions. The Climax Solo 800 is able to drive large speakers that present difficult loads with no tail off in performance at louder volumes. It's rated at 400 watts into 8 ohms, 800 watts into 4 ohms and 1.2 kilowatts into a 2 ohm speaker load. The amplifier has extremely low levels of distortion, 0.0005% at 1 kilohertz in 800 watts. If we take a quick look inside Climax 800, you can see the eight pairs of high performance and specially selected transistors located alongside the heat sinks. In the central area, you can also see the two kilowatt utopic power supply. So there we have it, Lynn Climax Solo 800. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.